so we have created up to this part we have created this tab list so first of all we created a container fluid with a class being used along with it which is known as wrap accordion and then we have created a new call sm12 class and then we have created this unordered list and all those things those are coming inside so far and this is the result after this far now we need to create this content part which is lying beneath so first of all we need to create before installing font awesome into our project we need to create this content part and then all we need to do we need to insert some content inside such that it is confirmed that these tabs this content part it is practically working so let's pay a closer attention here first of all we have created this ul class now just beneath this ul class all we are now going to do we are now creating a div now we have created this div so we are now using a class against it which will be tab content along with this we will be creating an id id is a very essential part in creating your web project always try to provide some kind of id to your elements those could be used later in creating your website project now we'll be creating an id So we have produced a div with a class of tab content and id my tab content and inside now let's have a closer look here too that we have created some kind of id in referring the hyperlink references in our previous list classes so those should be indicating something that will be in use so that is why we will be creating this id here with the same id name that has been used previously so this is the first part that we are using here this is the home, uh, div with an id of home and we will be using a class of tab pin and we will be using another class here which is known as fed so this is the class now inside this class all we need to do we need to create all those contents those will be displayed into your web page into this segment of div so if we have a closer look into our template we can see that here font awesome icons over here so these things should be created into our template but before that we need to make sure that all the divs are right into position such as these font icons those can be displayed so that is why we need to create all those div elements first and then we will be making sure that all those divs are working properly and only after that we will be installing our font or some icons over there so let's get back to our project and inside this div id home we will be now creating the first block of element right so i am using this call sm4 here now into this call sm4 all i am doing for the time being we are just inserting some kind of dummy text here copy this call sm4 and we will be pasting it here three more times so we have produced call sm4 and we have produced it and we have repeated it up to four times but this is not in accordance to the bootstrap responsive framework four into four is equals to 16 that means we are using here 16 columns but this uh, whole thing they use 12 grids so that is why if we are using here call sm4 then we should be using here three divs simultaneously such that four into three equals to 12 and the maximum grid consumption cannot exit beyond 12 grids but if we use here three grids for each individual block of elements then it is well and okay there is absolutely no problem now we have created up to this div id home now we have to repeat it two more times because there are three list items all together here so we need to copy it thrice and we need to paste it but before that i would like to say that we have made a mistake instead of tabs class used here it will be tab not tabs so this is the correction part here now let's proceed all we have to do now we have to copy this div and we have to paste it here three times and on the other hand we are using a nested grid component over here that means there were previously a call sm12 here remember there it goes it is a call sm12 but inside we have used multiple grid consumptions so all we now have to do we need to use a clear fix option if we just change this content part 
individually just give me a second okay now we have got entirely different contents for each of these content part but there's still a problem why it is such because we haven't changed this id name right into places now all we need to do we need to get back to our project and here we need to change all those id names those are practically different for all those different tab list items so there it goes so we have a div with an id of progress with an id of finance and with an id of home and the same thing goes here let's get back to our project and reload this is the nominee identification part yeah it is showing all its contents here now we are clicking on to this getting finance part and we can see that this far far away it has been started with this far far away clause and in the third case we can see that this content is a different thing too so all those contents those are right into action but still now there is a little bit of problem if we reload we can see that there's absolutely no presence of content down below and this is a very bad news for your web project because in the first place when your page is loaded nothing will be seen over here so we need to inform user that yes something is down here which should be getting into your knowledge which should be getting observed and that is why all we need to do whenever the page is being loaded that content is getting visible in front of the user so that is why we are getting back to our page now choose any of these classes over here for, for say we are choosing this dyd home that means in the first place when the page will be loaded then this nominee identification part it will reveal all its contents to the user so we are just getting into it and we are using this class name here active and in and in case of list items we will be using active class here so all we now need to do we need to get back to our project and reload and we can see that this page being loaded stage one nominee identification this particular tab list item it is now getting visible it is now getting highlighted here and we can see that all the contents inside those contents are now being visible to us so this is the thing that we need to know from this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to observe how to install this font awesome icons into our project and we will be using those font awesome icons into our project inside this tab list items here so that's all for today's tutorial hope you guys have liked this tutorial if you guys have liked this tutorial then do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button down below hope to see you guys in our next tutorial till then bye